Hi, welcome to another property technical video. Today we will be talking about duplexes. What's a duplex? In our context, a duplex is a single building that has been divided in the center, resulting in two separate residences. And this division is in some manner legal. Two different titles, either Torrance title division or Strata title, some sort of legal division. In some places in the world, um, a duplex can also mean an apartment which is upstairs and downstairs, but that is not the meaning we are implying over here. We are talking about two residences side by side. So let's get right into it. Next thing we are going to talk about is what kind of site is needed for a duplex project and how the numbers stack up. If it will make you money at all, how much or will you lose money? That's an important thing, of course. So let's begin with the site. Generally speaking, you need at least 500 meter square block of land and at the frontage, there has to be at least 15 meters across. Now, this will vary from council to council. Some may want more. Some may want 16 meters at the front or 17 or more. Some may want 600 meter square land in total or more. Check at the council or a local architect will be able to advise you about this as well. Now, next thing is a little bit trickier. Um, that is to do with the slope. Some council wants you to have only forward sloping sites. That is more to do with um, rainwater. They have a stormwater system where water will flow to the front, into the gutter and out it goes. If a land is rear sloping, then it will have to go into a stormwater pipe that is buried under the land and some councils don't allow you to um, tap into it. Now me personally, I prefer a forward sloping land even if the council may allow me to make a duplex on a rear sloping land simply because uh, the rear sloping land generally is a little bit harder as far as hydraulics go. There are costs associated which benefits no one there is no tangible value to it, but because the council wants you to do things in a particular way, you are doing more plumbing and the complexity goes up and things like that. So forward sloping is easier in general, but sometimes it's unavoidable. Next thing I want to talk about is easements. When we go to a site for inspection, visually nothing may be apparent because of the stormwater, let's say it's under the ground, we can't see it. Or there is a registered easement on the plot of land that we can only know about if we look at the contract. But easements will affect what you can build on the property. Often, even though a property may qualify because of its size, that you can put a duplex on it, but you can't build on it because so much of the land is divided, chopped up. You could make a very nice single dwelling but not a duplex because duplex requires you a certain width. You need to put two garages and things like that. These are requirements as well. So before I buy any site, I normally get the advice of my architect. I just ring her up and say, this is the address I'm interested in. Can you see if it is affected by something? And she looks up various databases and things like that. If there is a sewer pipe, it will show up in the contract. If there is a stormwater pipe or something, if it is affected by shadows, for example. Um, solar access is another thing because of which construction may become difficult or council may just not allow us to build, so on and so forth. So taking advice from an architect is part of due diligence. So let's now talk about the numbers. How can duplex make you profit? Or if done wrong, it can lose you money. Hypothetically, let's take a project. So we bought a land for 800,000, let's say including stamp. And to build upon it, we are spending 800,000. So when the project is complete, we are at cost of $1.6 million, meaning each side is costing us $800,000. Now, we in Australia, we have to pay GST. That's 10%. And then you have cost of advertisement and you have cost of agent, lawyer and miscellaneous. Let's say it comes to 900,000 and after that is where your profit begins to happen. Now, how will you know that if 
at the end of the project, you will be able to sell each side uh, for, let's say, 950,000. You want to make 50,000 profit for yourself. You look at what has been selling around the area in recent times. So if there isn't any duplex that has been sold for, let's say, 950, they are selling for, let's say, 925 and so forth. This is not a place where you want to be very optimistic. This is where you want to be aggressively pessimistic. Being defensive is correct in this case. Because by the time a project completes, it, it takes one year overall or more. And market fluctuates. I've been caught in fluctuating markets sometimes. I had the pleasure of being on the upcycle of a market as well. It happens. It, it can go both ways. So you have to have some room for such things. Almost all duplexes offer similar things, at least in recent times. They generally have four bedrooms upstairs with one main bathroom and one ensuite. Downstairs, there may be a powder room, but generally a laundry, uh, open plan living, a formal lounge, maybe. So we can find comparable properties that sold recently what they sold for and we can sort of predict what we might be able to achieve but this is where we need to be aggressively defensive three bedroom duplexes do exist they are very rare generally avoided because although rooms would be bigger three bigger bedrooms but as it turns out four bedroom duplexes even though the bedrooms itself is smaller they tend to sell easier right people want more bedroom than bigger size. One main bathroom and one ensuite is pretty much the norm right now. Some are beginning to give two ensuites. Some are beginning to add a fifth bedroom downstairs. Let's say if someone has elderly parents who want to live together with them and going upstairs and downstairs is a bit of a difficulty for them. This is where um, the fifth bedroom downstairs comes in handy. But if there's a fifth bedroom downstairs, that means you have to give another bathroom downstairs not just toilet a bathroom there are single level duplexes out there as well but they are very rare simply because you need a particular kind of site to be able to make a single level duplex although there is demand for single level properties the right kind of buyer might not show up and therefore any advantage of making a single level duplex is lost so in conclusion duplex sites why it makes money well the land is divided in two and therefore the appreciation there makes us money. There are limitations of what kind of sites is suitable for duplex and there are limitations to where a duplex can be made. You need to check with your council or a local architect. Also, before you make that purchasing decision, make sure you've done your due diligence as to there isn't any adverse affectation on the land that will prevent you from making a easy simple building so next thing is numbers if you buy in a suburb where duplex are selling for cheap and your overall project cost is going to be more then obviously it's not feasible if you go into that project you are going to surely lose money therefore obviously it's advisable that you find a duplex site in a place where duplexes are selling at a reasonable premium price so there is a margin to be had and of course the last thing is the design we need to make sure that our design appeals to a wide range of buyers. And of course, we should try to stick to the norm of the area by not overcapitalizing. Let's say we are putting marble bench tops and marble tiles everywhere, and we are splashing money with features and inclusions. We might not get our money's worth. On the other side of the spectrum, if the suburb requires certain number of features to be there and we are skimping on those, then the property might sit on the market for too long. People might come and give you a offer that qualifies as a lowball offer. And I can tell you this from experience, receiving a lowball offer is not fun. As far as property flipping goes, there are many, many other angles. There are many other ways of dealing in properties. Duplexes is just one such exercise. I've done this a few times and it's worked out all right for me. You might have many questions, by all means, please feel free to ask. If you don't ask, I won't know what to answer. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, as I will be bringing updates in a regular basis from my duplex project that's happening now. I'll make sure to keep those updates short and quick, so you get the gist of it quickly and hopefully 
From these updates, you'll be able to pick up information that will help you in your journey. Quick disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. In fact, I am not any kind of advisor. Any information that I present today is of general nature. Please verify. Find out the facts, what the local rules are, what the laws are, and of course taxation as well. Find everything out, see if the ideas stack up for you, and act accordingly. Again, research, research, research. Thanks for watching this video, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.